Okay, welcome everyone. As we welcome in Yitzi Muller and Mark Frankel, Irving Fishbaum, Barish Gesserman, Marshall Castle, uh, Shimon Klein, Stephen Holtzman, Shalom Fogel, Yitz Fuchs, Menachem Yumansky, Moshe Lehman, Aaron Swade, Shelley Zeitlin, Nay Barbach, Naftali Javelin, Pesach Ze- uh, 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 Siegelman, uh, Rabbi Kranz. Here in Shul, we have uh, Reb Kramer and uh, Michal Avram and Ruben Shannon and Saba, soon to be joined by Gedalia Engel. Uh, we are holding, as we are dedicated by A.B. Spry, that all of, in the schus of the Babas, all of his children should be healthy Babas, and by Michal Avram, with the hope that he should finish Shas many times over. Um, we are holding by Rabba Barbarchana which is on the bottom line of Yud Ches Amid Beis, uh, as the Gemara tells us that, uh, the Gemara tells us, Rabbi Barachana, Ir Kisale Gita Bei Midrasha. He lost a get in Shul. So when he wanted to recover it from those that found it and to prove that it was the get that he lost, Omar, he said, Isimona Isli Gave. I have a plain simon. I have a plain simon. Not a simon muvik, but I have, a, I, I have something that I could identify it. There's a scratch on the get. Uh, or, it fears eina isli begave. He says, I can tell you with my heightened uh, perception that I could tell that it was the one that I dropped. So, Adrul Nihali, when he said that, they returned it to him. Omar, and he said, uh, Omar, and he, Rabbi Barachana said, I'll tell you that Lo Yodana, the think tank of the Beis Medrash, I don't know Imishum Simona Adru and Nihale, if it was because I gave them the plain simon, and they hold the plain simon because Savre Simonim Doraisa, they hold the plain simon is strong enough biblically to satisfy uh, the needs of a get. Or it was because I said that I recognized it was the get I dropped. And of course, Tvias Ayin, we only allow by a Talmud Chacham. Because a Talmud Chacham would never lie. And therefore, we trust if he says that he could tell that it's the one that he dropped. Vidafkat Subhan Rabban, and then that would only be by a Torah scholar of Al Inish to Al Maloy, not by a regular person. Gufa. Let's go back to, uh, again, the sugya of Shtaris, in this case, specifically the Shtar of Aget. Mata get Isha Bishuk. If Mark finds a get in the marketplace, Bizman Shabal if the husband says, yes, I want to give it to my wife, Yazal Isha, Eina Bal but if the husband said, no, it fell for me, I wrote it, but I decided not to do it, we don't return it to neither of them. We don't return it to, to her because maybe he didn't give it. We don't return it to him because maybe, maybe he did give it, and if we return it to him, he could then later claim that I paid already the ksuva, and the proof is she returned me the get. So Mark doesn't return it to anybody. However, one thing is clear here, that Bizman Shabal Moida, but if the husband admits that he uh, wants to give it to the wife, Mio Yazu Isha. But here's the problem. Maybe to get um, as a date of Nisan, but the husband never gave it until Tishrei. So you'll say, what's the difference? Divorced is divorced is divorced is divorced. Not so fast. Why aren't we concerned that maybe he planned to give it in Nisan and they wrote it in Nisan? But he didn't give it to her physically until six months later in Tishrei. Now, in the interim the husband, who is still married to his wife, and he has a right to the usufruct, to the, to the payers of the nechzei melug, the husband sold to Marshall 
the Paris from Nisan to Tishrei. Vaza Baal Zavin Peire Minisin Vatishrei. Now, if if we uh, allow uh, allow Mark to give the get to his wife, uh, to this person's wife, so they'll pull out the get and say that she was divorced already from Nisan. And therefore, the, the, the fruit that the husband sold from Marshall, niece and Tetishra, he had no right to sell. Because he, he, he was divorced, so he had no right to sell it. Umapka legita, the cost of Benison. Va'at asya lamitrif, and then they'll take it away from Marshall, asya lamitrif, the kucha, shalaykh it in. Now, honey, chilamandi yamer, it's good according to the mandi yamer, kaven shinnas and ain of legarsha. As soon as he has a mind to the voice, uh, so he stops being able to take Paris. Came and Shinos and Ain of the Gash, Shuv Ain the Baal Paris. So then it's good because if he wrote the get already in Nisan, even if he didn't give it, but that means he was intending to divorce her, he doesn't have the right to the Paris. And then Taka, when he sold it to Marshall, he had no right to sell it. Shopper. El Ramandi Yama Yeshul Baal Paris that the husband is entitled to the usufruct Ad Shas Nasina until he actually gives it. Maybe he first gave it in Tishrei, and therefore during the whole time he had the right to sell it with Marshall. But now, if Mark returns to get that's dated in Nisan, he'll be able to illegally take it away from Marshall. Michael Amema says the Gemara. You know why? You know why we're not worried about that? Because ki asya lamitrov, because when they come to take the fruit away from Marshall, Marshall will say, okay, wise guy, prove to me that the get was delivered in Nisan. Ki asya lamitrov, amrina la aisi raya, amas matagita liyadech. Bring me proof when the get was given to your hand. In other words, all you have is that it has the date of Nisan, but we don't know that it was delivered in Nisan. I'll release the Paris. Marshall says, I'll give you back the Paris if you could prove that she was taken divorced in Nisan. Says the Gemara, so then why don't we say that by the promissory note? By the promissory note, why is this not registering? It is. Okay. Says the Gemara, Omaishna, oh this is a very cute question. The Gemara, the Gemara says, by a promissory note, in the same way, we said if it's a promissory note that has a lien, we said that if Mark finds it, he's not allowed to return it. He's, in other words, in the event that Marshall admits that he owes me the money, Mark is still not allowed to give it back to me if it has a lien. Why is it different than a promissory note? If you find a promissory note, if there is a security clause that I could collect from the buyers, lo and we say that it's talking about even where Marshall admits that he owes me the money. But the reason why that Mark is not allowed to return it to me is because maybe what happened was is I uh, Marshall originally planned to take the loan in Nisan and that's the date on the star but Veloy Lova Tishrei he didn't actually take the physical loan for me until Tishrei. And what therefore, what therefore happens is, is if Mark returns me the IOU note, I'll be able to take from Marshall's buyers six months earlier than really it's entitled. The Qatar Flukuka shall like it in. But why don't we say over there that if, if I go to Marshall's buyer, if who, who, Dr. Block, you know, Dr. Block really doesn't learn his lesson, and he keeps on buying for Marshall, although they rip him off uh, every month in Donnerstick, if you know what I mean. But uh, as we welcome in Mo Kushner, uh, 
That's my job. Rip them off every Monday and Thursday. The, that, that's when he kills people. Um, the uh, now um, the uh, marshal doesn't kill people until seventy two. Uh, the uh, the the Mamish, look at him. He's as guilty as sin. It's unbelievable. Uh, he's even wearing red. Uh, the uh, the Mamish. Uh, so anyway, uh, it doesn't help to take away the evidence, Marshall. So the Gemara says, so over there, again, uh, I shouldn't have interrupted myself. This is a, I would be very upset if somebody interrupted me on this tr- thread, and I interrupted myself. So for the benefit of the whole oilam, I'm going to repeat it over again. Why is it this different than a promissory note? Did not Matzah Shtarichayv? If Mark finds a promissory note that Marshall owes me money, im yesh be machrais nechosim. If there's a security clause, lo yazer, Mark can't give it to me. And we said that this is even where Marshall admits that he owes me the money. Vul kimna kishachayv meidem. Why? Umishum shem a kosov lo lavois benisin. Maybe he uh, planned to take the loan in Nisan, and they put a date on the star of Nisan. But he didn't actually take the loan until Tishrei. Now, if he, if Mark returns me the, the star, since it says the date of Nisan, I could uh, collect from the Marshall's buyers from Nisan, even though really he only took the loan uh, six months later in Tishrei. And then I could take it away from Dr. Black illegally. So the Gemara says, but why don't you say the same answer? That Dr. Black will say, well, I'm only going to release my property if you could prove to me when Rabbi Weiss gave you the loan. Let him answer. When, 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 when I come to take it away from Dr. Black, namely, he should tell me, I see Raya, bring proof. When, when did this actually get to your hand? In other words, when did you actually take, when did Marshall actually take the loan, the loan from you? Why don't, why don't you say this? Says, you know, it's, you're comparing apples and oranges. You see, by the get, um, there's, there's a reason why the Rabbanon would 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 uh, allow the get to be returned where the husband admits that he gave the get the rabbana would say okay give the get because otherwise she'll be an aguna otherwise she won't be able to remarry when when she comes and wants to try to take away from uh, wants to try, try to come and take away from Marshall the payers that the husband sold to him from Neeson so Marshall will say look I know the get was given in order that she should be able to get divorced that's what that she should be able to remarry but prove to me that the get was actually given in Nisan. They gave the get because she has to get remarried. She shouldn't be an aguna. But it says on it the date of Nisan, but maybe it wasn't given until Tishrei. And then, and, and then the husband had the right to sell me to Paris. You have to prove it. So the Gemara says, Hoche gabi get. Hoche gabi get isha. The buyer, that's Marshall, will say, look, the reason why the Rabbanon gave the get when the husband admitted that he talked and divorced her, that she shouldn't be able to, uh, that she should be able to remarry. She shouldn't be anchored. But now that you're claiming that a divorce already took place in Nisan, and therefore, the husband had no right to sell me the fruit from Nisan to Tishrei. Tezi v'tezi raya emas to get the other, but prove to me when the actual get was delivered. 
But here, what would be the reason why the Rabbanon would pass in that Mark could give me back the Shtar Chayv? It's not that Marshall should pay me the money. Marshall admits that he paid me the money. For that, I don't need the Shtar Chayv. The only reason that they returned me the Shtar Chayv is obviously for the lien. So that means that they're admitting that the lien is accurate. The, 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 in this case, Dr. Black is not going to be su- suspicious. Why? Since they said that Mark could return to me the Why would they return it to me? Obviously not that I should be able to collect directly from Marshall. I don't need the star for that. Marshall admitted it. Uh, obviously, the mitrafu. Obviously, it's in order to take away from the buyers. Shmami no komu rabbanim b'milsa. That must be that the rabbanim established uh, that umikami didi matish umikami didi, and before I bought the property, uh, because remember, you could only take from Doctor Black if the loan was given before he bought the property. It must be that they established that Mikami Didi that uh, the promissory note was before my purchase, and therefore he won't question when I come to take it away from him. And therefore, we cannot allow Mark to return it to me. Now, the Mishnah says, what about if Mark finds a writ of emancipation? Right? I, I have a, a slave, Tony, and it says that I freed Tony. So, says the Gemara, Ton Rabbanon, Motzeshtar Shichra Beshuk. If Mark finds a writ of emancipation in the marketplace, Bizman Sha'arav Moida, if I admit that I actually emancipated him, Yazul Evid, we return it to the Evid. Ain't a rav ma'ida. If the rav is not ma'ida, lo yaza leila zeva leila zeh. It's not returned to either of them. It's not returned to the master. It's not returned to the evet. But bezman shah rav ma'ida. But where I admit mio yaza leevet. Ah, but here, here again, <laughs> we're going to run into the same problem. It's mamish a carbon copper copy problem. The writ of emancipation says that I emancipated Tony and Nisan in the spring. Vamai, Nechish Shema Kos of Litin Leibam Nisan. Maybe I had in mind to emancipate him in Nisan. But, V'loi Nosan Le'atishre. But I didn't give it to him. I didn't emancipate him. Actually deliver it to him until Tishrei. V'ozel Avda V'kona Nichsin Menisan V'atishre. Now here, this, this slave was an industrious fellow. And he bought 500 shares of apple. Well, that's not a good example. That, that's not going to get us anything. Uh, better, let's use Marshall instead. He, he, bought, uh, he bought stuff... Uh, uh, he, he bought he bought horses, five uh, blue blo- blue blue blooded thoroughbreds, right, right, huh? Blue breaded, blue breaded. There's a man that knows his horses. Uh, it's not blue blooded. No, no, it's blue blooded. Yeah, it's blue blooded. Uh, these are royal. Ho- these these are royal horses. Uh, so anyway, huh? yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so so uh, let's get back again. Uh, what happened over here was is that. Mark van der Stad that I emancipated Tony. It says that I emancipated Tony and Nisan. So it says that if I admit that I emancipated him, Mark could give the star 
to Tony. The problem is, the same question. Maybe I wrote it to emancipate him in Nisan, but I didn't give it to him till six months later in Tishrei. In the meantime, in, 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 the, in the meantime, uh, what happened was, is Tony, uh, during Sphira, that's the time in between Nisan and Tishrei, he bought himself five really good horses. Uh. <laughs> he bought himself five really good horses. And, of course, if he was still my slave, if he was still my slave, then what he bought for himself is mine. Because, and I went ahead and sold it to Marshall. <laughs> Let's see that side. Vazel Avda v'kana nixin menisre menisin avat tishrei. V'azel arav, and the the rav goes v'zavninu, uh, and and I and I sold the those uh, those um, those five horses, and then umapikle l'shichra, and I take out. The, then, then uh, Tony, who's now slash Mordechai because he's freed, he takes out the emancipation because of Benison that says that he was already freed in Nisan. Now, if he was already freed in Nisan, then I had no right to sell the five horses. Because if he was freed in Nisan, then the horses weren't mine. Right, the horses belong to then Matisio. So I had no right to sell them. So then I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna in collusion, in conspiracy, take it away from Marshall and then split it. The Katarf Lakuka shall like it in. And we'll take it away from Marshall illegally. I don't know why it took me such a long time to explain that. Uh, as we welcome in uh, Richard Rosenzweig and Sandy Grunfeld and Yudha Tov. Let's get this case again, because it, it took me a darn long time, like Marshall would say, took me a darn long time to explain it. So again, Mark finds a writ of emancipation. It says that I freed Tony. The Gemara says that if I admit that I freed him, so he gives it to Tony which means that he's now a free man, Matisio. The question is, if it says the date of Nisan, why aren't we afraid that really I freed him, I wrote Nisan, but I didn't free him until Tishrei. So therefore, he only became Matisio in Tishrei. In the interim, between Nisan and Tishrei, um, Tony bought stuff and sold it to Marshall. Now I pull out the star. Now that says, well, actually, he Matzio has it, but he pulls out the star that he was a free man already in Tishrei, in in Nisan, in the spring, and since he was a free man in the spring, when I sold the horses to Marshall, I had no right to sell it because it, it was it was Matzio's horses. You can't say call Marshall Connor Evan Connor Rabbi. So he was already freed. So then he's going to take it away from Marshall, and then me and him will split it. Now, honey, Yamer, it's good according to the Mandi Yamer that Zuchusula Eved Sheyotze Mitachas Rabbi Lecheres that it's a schus for an Eved to go free. Look, he gets his freedom. Not only does he get his freedom, he has mitzvahs like a Jew, like a like a man. That as soon as the witnesses sign on it, even though it wasn't delivered to him, they could be zoicha for him for his freedom. Then Taka, even if it wasn't delivered until Tishrei, he gets his freedom in Nisan. And Einachanami, since he was free in Nisan, uh, I had no right to sell it to Marshall, and he could take it away. Shaper. 
Elaman Yama Chayvu Le'evet Shiyotzim Taks Yad Rabba Lecheres. But according to Elaman Yama, that says that it's detrimental for a slave to go free. Why? Because a slave is Nicha Behef Keres. He wants to be able to play the field. He wants to have a different shift every night. He sees, you know, he's a, he's not he's not interested in marrying one base Yaakov girl. That's not the kind of life that he's used to. So for him it's a chayv, ma'ik l'meima, says the Gemara. So here we're going to say this answer. Because when he comes and says to Marshall, listen, Rabbi Y sold it to you, but my writ of emancipation says that I was already free man in Nisan, so therefore they're my, ho- my horses, and Rabbi Weiss has no uh, right to sell it to you, Marshall will sell him. Hey, listen, I know it says the date of Nisan on it, but bring me proof that it was delivered to you on Nisan. The Chi Asi Lamitrif, the same answer we gave before. When he comes to take it away from Marshall, I'm going to lay Icy Raya Amos Mata Shikhra Liyatcha, bring me proof that it was delivered to you in Nisan, and then you could take it away from me. Otherwise, these uh, thoroughbreds are staying by me. And now we go to wills. Wills are always a very grim subject. Daitike Matona, the last will and testament. Tonarabona. Ezuhi daitake. What's a daitake? Dotehe la makim uliyos. This should be to be maintained and to be. In other words, this is what his will is. Sheim meis, that if he dies, nechas of leplaini. If he dies, the property should go to Shalom. Matana, what's a gift? Kol shekasabai me'ayoyim ula achamisa. That it should be shalom's from today if he dies. Gatzkel says that it's shalom's from today if he dies. That means that once he says me'ayoyim, he has no right to sell it to anybody else, but it's his until he dies. Me'ayoyim ula achamisa. Says the Gemara, a gift is only if he says from today after he dies. But if he gives the gift now, it doesn't work. Of course a gift works if he gives it now. What's the gift of a healthy person? That's like a last will and testament that it's only binding if the person dies. The Lakani El Lachamisa. Uh, that's Kol Shekosaba where he writes, May I Yoimu Lachamisa. From today, if he dies. Now, so the implication over here is, is that Mark cannot give the last will and testament if, let's say, he finds the last will and testament that Chatzkel promised to Shalom, he could only give, he, uh, he's only not allowed to give it to Shalom if Chatzkel says not to give it. That means Chatzkel says he changed his mind. But if he says, no, no, give it to Shalom, then nice then. Then we do give it to Shalom. Ah, Baraminu. We have a stira. Matsu dait kais, if you find a last will and testament, apoitikais, remember apoitikais is where a person says that this is an exclusive lien. You gave me the loan and I'm, I'm giving you uh, this uh, rambler that I have in the garage as an exclusive payment for the debt. Umatonais or gifts. Afal and maidim, even though they both admit it to be valid. Lo yazu, lo lezev, lo lezev. So you see over here that even if Chatzkel admits that he made the will, you're still not allowed to give it to Shalom. It says still lo yazu, lo lezev, lo lezev. Amar Rebbe Abba Bar Mamel, so Rebbe Abba Bar Mamel says lo kashe. Anytime you turn a page in in this parak, it's a big accomplishment. Amar Rebbe Abba lo kashe. One is talking about uh, a, 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 a gift. Now, the, the Gemara is going to ask, but in both of them it says daitiki. 
So this really isn't a good answer. In both of them it says wills. How can you say one is a healthy person and one is a, a will? But let's see what the Gemara's answer, what its attempt is. One is a healthy person and one is a dying person. Masnison diketani, the Mishnah, which is mashma. Ha'amar tnu nice name that if the Chatzkel said to Mark, give it to Shalom, we give it to him, Bishchiv Meira. Uh, why? Because the Ba'am Mehedahu. Because anyway, Chatzkel could change his mind multiple times. A dying man could change his mind on his bequest. And it's always the last will that counts. So the Gemara says, what, 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 is, what is there what to worry about? Maybe he wrote it to Shalom. And he changed his mind. And then he wrote it to Marshall. And he gave it to Marshall. So we should worry that if Mark returns it to Shalom, maybe Chatzkel changed his mind and gave a will afterwards to Marshall. It's no problem. Because <coughs> Chatzkel could change his mind again. There's nothing to worry about. He's saying now that he wants it to go to Shalom. It, 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 by a will, it's always the last will that counts. It's the last will that's standing. He could retract from what he gave to Marshall. So there's nothing to worry about. There's no reason not to give it to Shalom. However, um, Ah, so, so the Gemara says, the Gemara says, the, So, so now, now the Gemara explains, this is tricky, now the Gemara explains why if it's Mark is returning a will, we don't have to worry that anything is going to happen. Because what are we worried about? That after he wrote the will to Shalom, he gave it afterwards as a gift to Marshall, we don't have to worry. Because Marshall's document would have a later date. And therefore, we would reward it to Marshall. If, what's there to worry? That Mark will return the, the, the will to Shalom. And maybe afterwards he gave a, a gift to Marshall, no problem. Even Matnas Bari if he gave it to him as a gift, less like Seda. The Chitnovka Tarte, when they both present the Shtar, but Trisus Achi, the one who has the later date is Eicha, the Hader Bey Mikamaisa, because it means that he retracted from the first bequest, which he could do. A will you could retract from. And if, let's say, he gave to Marshall 
a deathbed request. And now he's saying that uh, he's, he's, now he's saying give it to Shalom. It's also not a problem because he could retract from the initial deathbed request and give it to Shalom. Les Bapseida. The Patrice Zahi, because uh, Shalom, who now he's saying now he wants to give it to, uh, he could do that. The Hadabay Mikamaisa. He could retract from the first bequest. So there's, there's, there's no problem over here. However, Kikatani Bebraisa, when it says in the Braisa that if, even if Chatzkel says to Mark, give give it to Shalom. That's talking about Babari. Ah, a healthy person. The Lab Bar he can't change his mind like a dying man. A dying man could keep on changing his mind and say, you know, I changed my mind and I want to give it to Shalom. Here, it's a gift to a healthy person. So it says that he, he's giving it as a gift to Shalom. Damrinon, we're afraid. Dilma Maybe he initially wrote it to give it to Shalom. However, the Imlach, he changed his mind. The Yavale, and he didn't give it to Shalom. Now, so that means he wrote in Nisan that he was giving a gift to Shalom, but he changed his mind and he didn't give it to him. And then, in, right before Shavuos, he gave it to Marshall. He wrote to, to Marshall, and he says, what am I, crazy? I'm giving it to Marshall. I can't retract. It was a matnas bari. He can't back out. Let me say, Mark, I actually gave it to Shalom in Nisan. Now, I really didn't. But it says the date of Nisan, I'll say I actually gave it to him in Nisan. And therefore give back the document to Shalom. Uh, when 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 uh, Marshall takes out his star that says Shvuas Sava de Kadim Zachabe. The now Shalom is holding a star that says Nisan, and he gets it first. El Amrinon le we say Anan Haik Sava. We say to Mark. We don't, we're not giving this ksav to Shalom because Dilma Michtav Ksavis, maybe I wrote it to give it to Shalom, but may have lo Yahavis Nahale, and I, I didn't give it to him. The Yavis Inish Achrina, I gave it to Marshall at Shmuel's time, the Kohadris Bay. So, uh, uh, right? Why is the Gemara so verbal over here? Why is the Gemara? It's really strange. Right? El Amrino Lei. Anan haik sava lo yavino lei lahai. We're not going to give Shalom the, 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 the matnas bori that says that it was given to him in Nisan. Because Dilma Micht of Kasvis, maybe it was Taka. I wanted to give it to Shalom, but may have lo yahavas nahale, but I didn't actually give it to him. The to leishet in shachrin. I gave it to Marshall in Shvuas time. The kahadris bay, and I want to now retract. Ilo yahav to in shachrina. If 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 we say we say, look, Rabbi Weiss, if you didn't take it, give it to anybody else. No problem. The Kaboys to Tasve Lahai, and you want it to be by Shalom. Ksivle hashtag of Achrina Nale. Right now, a star, now it's, let's say, in the summer, 
right now a star that you're giving to it to Shalom now in the summer, but you have it in the LA. That, that way, Marshall is protected. The E, you have to in Shachrina, because if it was given to Marshall in Shmuel's time, less bus Pseida, then Marshall won't lose out to Kadim Zachi, because his star will now be before uh, the summer, it will be in Shmuel's. Whoa. We're really, we're really very suspicious over here. Now, let me just speak this out to you, because the Gemara was very, well, there's a word for it. It's, it seems to be very verbose. Uh, it seems to be, but let me, let me tell you what happened over here. What happened over here is, is Mark found a star dated that I gave a um, magnificent palace in uh, Luxembourg. A magnificent palace in Luxembourg to Sholem in Nice. I mean, Sholem is really excited. He's always wanted to go to Luxembourg. And uh, and the missus would also not mind to go to Luxembourg. Anyway, uh, so he, Mark finds it. So the Gemara says, Mark can't, and I admit that I gave it to Marshall. Mark can't give it to Marshall. Why? Because the concern is, is that maybe I planned to give it to him, but I didn't give it to him in Nisan. In the interim, I gave it to to Marshall, Erev Shvuz. So therefore, if Mark will return it to Shalom, it could be that it's not Shalom's. Because, and it's not fair, because Shalom has a prior date to Marshall, and he'll say, look, I got it in Eason. But really he didn't. Because I planned to give it to him, but I didn't give it to him. Therefore, the Gemara says, he can't give it to me, but... The Gemara says, look, Rabbi Weiss, don't fret. You're not going to really lose anything. If you didn't do any, any hanky-panky, and you didn't give it an, to anybody else in the interim, no problem. Now it's the summer. Write a star that you're giving to Shalom the villa in Luxembourg now in Thomas. If, however, I gave it to Marshall in er Erev Shuas, Marshall is protected. Because Marshall's date will have an earlier date. So this way we protect that there shouldn't be any chickenry. Chickenry. Chickenry, right? Chicanery. Chicanery. Any chicanery. Should be chickenry, but I uh, Any chicanery. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have said that word. But anyway. Um, now, says the Gemara. If you remember, I told you that we're going to go through all this rigor and all, and we're going to say that one is talking about a matnas bari and one is talking about a, 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 a will, but the problem is that both say daitike. Says the Gemara, Mask of Rav Zid, va'idi va'idi daitike is katani. Both say that they're talking about a last will and testament. Says the Gemara, El Amr Rav Zid, hava habish gibmeira. Both are talking about a will. But like Kasha, there's no difficulty. Habe, one is Chatzkel, the dying person himself. Vahabibre, and one is referring to his son. Ah, uh, what's going on over here? The Mishnah that says that if Mark finds the, the last will and testament, and Chatzkel admits that he gave it to, to Shalom, so Mark could return it to Shalom. Mas Nisan de Ka'amru Tnu Naisdin Bidite. Why? The Bar Medahu. Because there's nothing to worry about because Chatzkel could always back out and change his mind. So there's no nothing. The Amrinon. Inam Yavalina Shachrina. If in the interim he bequested it to Marshall, no problem. That's <laughs> Bob Seda. The Kamu Basra, by will, it's always the last will. We want to know where the last will is. The Kamu Basra, Basra Zachi. The Hodabe Mikama. He retracts from giving it to Marsh. Kikatani Bibraisa. The Bryce is talking about Afopishishneemoidim. It's talking about the son of the dying man. Loyazalaylazeb, Loyazalaylazeb, Bibray. It's talking about. 
where the where Chatzkel died, and the son says to return the will. Ah, you see, the son can't back out of anything. And Damrinon, we, we're worried. Dilma Kosov Avu Maybe the father wrote it to Shalom, but the Imlach Vilo Yavei and he changed his mind and didn't give it to Shalom. And then afterwards, the father said to give it to Marshall. And he gave it to him. Ah, so then, and the son, he doesn't want it to go to Marshall. He says, well, what, do I, what do I have a benefit of giving it to that bumpkin in Chicago? Was a, a guy that takes off his clothing in the middle of his share. What, 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 what kind of... What what kind of, you wouldn't believe it? The only the, the the only only Talmud that ever took off his clothing in the year. And that says the Gemara, and you. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even deny it. Uh, <laughs> no, I guess I can't. <laughs> but anyway, um, Obaser and after the father died. The son wrote it to another person, right? Viovale, and and gave him the document. Um, now, now again, the the father, the father. Uh, the father initially wrote it to Shalom, but didn't give it to him. Then after the father died, the son gave it to Marshall. But now the son wants to get out of it and tells Mark to return the document that he found, tells Mark to return the document that he found to Shalom. So therefore the Gemara says, he feels, I, I can't retract from giving it to Marshall. Because when he gave it to Marshall, it was a matnas bari. The son was a healthy man. I'm going to claim to the court that my father gave it to Shalom. And I'll have Mark return the document to my father. And then Venezel Venapik Mine, then they'll take it away from Marshall. Why? Because the Huzaki. Now, what's in it for the son? What's in it from the son is, is that that then the son will go split it with Shalom. Veniflik Bade, and the son will split it with Shalom. Hilka Hamrinale. Therefore we tell the son, look again. You have nothing to lose. We're not going to return the document to Shalom. Because it's possible that your father never gave it, and in it, when afterwards you sold it or gave it a gift to Marshall. Maybe your father wrote it, but maybe he didn't give it. You gave it to Marshall as a matnas bari. The Kahadra is and now you're trying to back out of it. Now we do tell the son, look, it could be that you're telling the truth. It could be that you're telling the truth, that your father granted it to Shalom, and you didn't do anything afterwards. No sweat. Write it now to Shalom. If nothing happened in between, then it will be Shalom's. If, however, you gave it to Marshall before, Marshall will have an earlier star and he'll be protected. If it's true that your father granted it to Shalom and nothing happened in afterwards, Zil Atashta, now go, write him another document. Even if your father didn't give it to him, you could give it to him now. So, and if if, you, if your father didn't give it to him and in the interim you gave it as a gift to Marshall Marshall will be protected 
If in the interim you gave a gift to Marshall, let's what Bob say that Marshall will be protected. The Kamo Basra, because you're only giving it to Shalom with the date of now, Marshall will have an earlier date, the Kamo Basra, Kamazachi. He would get it and not Shalom. So this way we protect the interest if something happened in the interim. Okay, we're going to stop over here. Um, the next uh, sugya goes on to the next daf. Uh, dressed again? What? Can I get dressed again? Yes, but we'll learn that you should get dressed for Mishnah Yaimis. It's always very good to be dressed for Mishnah Yaimis. Rabbi Say, we are looking for a sponsor. I'm talking to the wild blue yonder of Kalaloshin and, Mish- and, and mm. for any time in YouTube. And, and, and Facebook, we are looking for a sponsor for the Megillah Shear Wednesday night. We do not yet, that's very rare, we do not yet have a sponsor for the Megillah Shear. 718-916-3100, RMMWSI at AOL.com. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a wonderful evening.